Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about blood alcohol concentration. Now it is important for us to understand blood alcohol concentration because no doubt there will come a time when you have your driver's license and you turn 18 and you decide to go out and have a couple of drinks. You need to know when it's safe for you to get behind the wheel of a car because we never drink and drive ever. Okay, now in order to calculate our blood alcohol concentration, um, there are two formulas. It's actually the same formula, but which one you will use depends on the gender that you were assigned at birth. Okay, so if you are a male, this is the formula we're going to use. And if you're a female, uh, this is the formula that you're going to use. The only difference being this number down here. So let's have a look at our formula. So it tells us that blood alcohol concentration is equal to 10N, with N being the number of drinks that you've had, uh, minus 7.5 H, H being the number of hours that you've spent drinking, um, divided by 6.8 M, M being your body mass in kilos. Whereas for females, it's 10 N minus 7.5 H, same. But then it's divided by 5.5 M instead of 6.8 M. Okay, cool. So let's try and solve a question here. We've got Jack and Jill, they went up the hill and they had six drinks. We want to calculate their blood alcohol concentration. So they had six drinks in a space of two hours and they both weigh 80 kilograms. So we're going to use these two formulas here to calculate Jack and Jill's blood alcohol concentration. So let's start with Jack. I am going to start by rewriting my formula because I always do that. It's always good to rewrite your formula. So blood alcohol concentration is equal to 10 N minus 7.5 H over 6.8 M. All right, so in our question, it gives us, in our question, it gives us N being the number of drinks that Jack had. The H is the number of hours that he was drinking and the M is how much he weighs. So we're going to sub these three values into our formula. So 10 N, the number of drinks is 6, minus 7.5, H is 2 because he spent two hours drinking, um, and then 6.8 and his body mass is 80 kilos. So I'm going to type this entire thing into my calculator and it is going to tell me that Jack's blood alcohol concentration is 0 0.0827, yada, 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 which if I round it to three decimal places, I'm going to cut it here. Jack has a blood alcohol concentration of 0 0.083. Okay, so in New South Wales, he is over the legal limit to drive. All right, cool. Let's have a look at his sister, Jill. So again, I'm going to start by rewriting my formula. So BAC for females is 10N minus 7.5H divided by 5.5M. Okay, just like Jack, she had six drinks in two hours and weighs 80 kilos, so I'm gonna sub those values in. So 10, N is six, minus 7.5, two, over 5.5 and uh, her mass is 80 kilos. All right, so typing this into a calculator, Jill's blood alcohol concentration is 0 0.1022, yada, yada, yada. And Jill's is 0 0.102. All right, so simply based on the gender that they are, Jack's blood alcohol concentration is significantly lower than Jill's. Um, so it is very important for us to be aware of that. Now, there are actually quite a number of factors that can impact um, how intoxicated we become, including how much sleep you've had, um, how much food you've eaten and all that sort of stuff, but purely based on our blood alcohol concentration formulas, this is how we do it. So super important to know how to calculate it and to understand it, but more importantly, making sure to never drink and drive. Thank you for watching.